Well, hey everybody, it's Hex here. We're back, and it's episode 27? Is it 27 already? Holy cow, I'm getting shot. Oh no, run away, run away! There we go. <laughs> okay, anyways, well, last time what we did is we worked on this ocean monument. We worked on building a guardian farm, and uh, today what we're going to be going ahead and doing is we're going to be finishing that farm. And so what we have left to do, hold on a minute. Yep, took a screenshot. There we go. <laughs> uh, what we have left to do is we have to take out this ocean monument and do a little bit of decorating down here. Because remember last time we did some decoration down there, but we have more to do. Uh, so I kind of started doing a little bit of the tearing out, and it is not easy, you guys. It is not easy. Uh, nothing about this particular project has been easy, but we'll be able to get it done. So uh, my goal is to be able to come out here and tear down some of this stuff, but the problem is, is you keep getting shot by the little, by the little goobers, by these stinking little goobers over here, and the little guardians. So we gotta go ahead and we gotta run this. Uh, so kind of what my thought was is if I was able to remove the bottom of this thing, most of the guardians in here would start to float to the bottom. It seems like a good plan, right? But it's not as easy to do as I had hoped. See, I'm getting attacked as we speak, as I speak. You're probably not speaking because you're watching a video. Who talks while they're watching a video? What kind of person does something like that? All right. Anyways, uh, my goal here is to just kind of tear out all of this stuff, you know, and just kind of tear it on down. But uh, as I said, I keep getting attacked. And also, it seems like the haste, too, doesn't really work so well while you're swimming. So that's also a difficult challenge to overcome. So, yeah. All right. Well, we're just going to keep plucking away at this thing. Uh, maybe this would be a good one for a third-person time-lapse. Hmm. Hmm, maybe so. Maybe so. Ah! Or maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give that a go, and if you see a time-lapse in the nest, oh, I don't know, two or three seconds, then it worked. Okay, guys, well, it's gone. <laughs> it's all gone. So check it out. I have removed the ocean monument entirely. Unfortunately, the I was going to do a time-lapse, like I said, but it did not come out very well. Uh, the time-lapse itself was fine. The problem was is when I was underwater with the camera, it would do the rendering of of the under uh, under the water like super, super dark, uh, just as though I was had like it basically looked like this. And so you couldn't really see the monument. You couldn't see um, me at all. So it was just too, too dark to uh, be a viable... Uh, recording. So, unfortunately, I don't have any footage from that. And then, get away. Get out of here. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> he's shooting me. That's what he's doing. All right. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, that that's... But it was a lot of that sort of thing. You know, the Guardian shooting at me and me mining stuff. So, you just kind of imagine that in your head. Uh, the one thing is, is that the ocean monuments are a heck of a lot bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Um, the other thing that I did is I figured out how to make my little GUI a little bit smaller. So... Um, by GUI, I mean, like, if you go in here into Options and Video Settings, you can go into GUI Scale. I, w I never knew what that meant. And then you can, like, change this, right? <laughs> like this, and make it really small. <laughs> you can make it normal, which is what I have it on now. Or you can actually, I think I had it on large. Yeah, have it on large. And, uh, yeah, so that's kind of nice that my uh, little stuff down here takes up a little bit less space and yada yada. So I, I hope that that looks better on the, on the video overall. Um, also... Uh, yeah, so you also noticed that uh, Minecraft did kind of a April Fool's kind of thing today. Um, I had those textures going on earlier, but I decided to disable them just because it's kind of like, what? Kind of looked weird. But I, I did like that, that Mojang did an April Fool's joke. <laughs> and actually, especially with the vignette um, on the screen that kind of looked like a like a few circles. You know, um, I don't know if you saw it or not, but um, that looked pretty darn funny. I was, I was like, what's wrong with my computer <laughs> they got me they got me pretty bad i was tricked i was definitely fooled um anyways so i was also afk for a little while and a little while by meaning a few hours and i have uh a decent amount of loot it's not quite as much as i thought i would get out of the rates of this farm and i think i have an idea why but i have i have almost 12 double chests full which isn't too bad and this this uh this dropper elevator thing has just been going non-stop. I mean, it never stops dropping items. Like, seriously. It's just like this the entire time. So that's really good. Um, 
Yeah, so the farm is working really well. I think that what's going on is that the drop from here down here really isn't far enough to have them take extra damage, and so it's taking them a little while to die, um, a little bit longer than in my um, test one that I made in a creative world, and also in the one in the uh, in the tutorial that you may have watched. So, yeah, those uh, I might go up in there and put some more lava somehow, but I really don't know how I'm going to get that done really don't know how that would happen. I'd be a little bit nervous to kind of start digging inside of this thing without really being able to figure out where the uh, where the signs and stuff were. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, uh, my plans for this room is I plan on finishing it off. So I plan on putting the dark concrete, uh, sorry, the dark concrete, the black concrete all the way along up to the ceiling up there uh, so that there's just black concrete in here. And then I'm thinking about doing the center either in prismarine or black concrete or a combination. We'll see which one I do. And then also finishing off these areas, because right now this is just powder, so I need to put some um, actual concrete blocks up above them. Over here, what I've got is I've got, <laughs> this is kind of like my little AFK area. I went a little nuts with crafting um, some sea lanterns. I got like nine stacks of sea lanterns now. Uh, so that that's probably putting a dent in some of that too, now that I think about it, um, as far as my drops and stuff. But yeah, so I've got nine, uh, stacks of sea land or almost nine stacks of sea lanterns like eight and a half and <clears throat> seven and a half sorry <laughs> i can super count anyways uh so i was gonna like build an afk room down here um and also i wanted to have a room where it had like an enchantment table and the ability to do enchantments obviously and then another room where i could keep um like some anvils and also have like an ender chest and stuff like that uh, in there so that when I come down here I can do enchanting and uh, all of that jazz. So that's kind of what I'm going to be working on here in a little bit. Okay guys, well I put in some of the black concrete on the sides here. So I was able to do all of the sides and then I turned some of the powdered concrete that I had into the regular con uh, black concrete. And then over here I finished off our item elevator so that it is surrounded. I really like this thing. I think that looks really cool. I'm not super crazy about the hoppers up there, but there's really nothing I can do about it. But having the lights down here and then the glass, it just really, I don't know, I really like this. So that's that thing. Um, then over here, uh, I tunneled this out. Um, I've got quite a long tunnel here. <laughs> it looks, it's like totally unfinished, but this is the length of, that it's gonna be. So this is gonna be our last pillars right here. And then I'm gonna have some, um, some black concrete right where these stone blocks are right here. And then probably what I'm going to do is make this AFK room so that uh, there's like a, um, a button that you're going to push and then these will separate and then you can go inside of this thing. And I'm going to make them, I'm going to make this room um, four by f or two by two instead of four by four, just because I, I like the four by four, but the problem is, is if I use sticky pistons here, then you'll be able to see the sticky pistons on the inside. And I, I kind of don't like that. So um, I decided to just go with a, with a four by four room there. Um, and then right here, I decided to make this a little bit longer. And the reason for that is because when I came in here, um, this was going to be okay for like the size of an enchant enchanting room. Like if I had, you know, my, um, if these were our bookshelves like this, um, I've got plenty of room in here for that. And then that being our enchanting table or whatever, all the way around, blah, 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 blah. There's plenty of room there. But if over on this side, I wanted to have, you know, our ender chests, some anvils, maybe some other things in here. And it just seemed like if I wanted to put more in the room, it, this room is going to be kind of small. So what I decided to do was make it so that our um, enchanting table and stuff is going to be on right here. And then over here, we're going to go ahead and build um, just kind of a little room where we can access our ender chest and have um, anvils and stuff in here. So that uh, that way, this is kind of like a one-stop sh one shop for enchanting and to get prismarine stuff. So let's take a look at how much prismarine we have so far. I haven't even looked at this. Uh, ooh, wow. <laughs> We've almost got f 12 full double chests plus uh, like, what did I say? Seven and a half stacks of these uh, sea lanterns. So that's pretty good. I'm really excited about that. Also, we got to finish our hallway right here. I'm, I made the doorway here, but I want to finish this entire hallway and decorate this thing out in the same exact theme as this. And so there's that. And then that's pretty much all I've done so far. So what I need to do though is go back to my base because I totally 
totally did ran out of concrete. Oh, yeah, this thing. <laughs> the giant black wall. Um, I was able to put in two of the black walls, but I need to obviously put in a third one and then put some here. Um, I also tested out trying to put some more lava in here, but if I put a little bit more lava in there to try to soften the guys up, they get a little bit too soft and they die before they hit the ground, so that's not what we want. So, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to just go with uh, the current rates that I've got here, which, which are pretty good. I mean, you know, I have quite a bit of prismarine. I'm not going to need much more than that. All right, well, I'm going to go back to my base and get some concrete. All right, guys. Well, I got a little bit more concrete, as you can see. I was able to put in some stuff and check it out. I completely finished this upper portion, so we've got the concrete going all the way around. I've got one two, three, four layers of glass, and I think it almost obscures it a little bit too much. Uh, I can't really see the... kind of see just ghosts of the uh, the little guardians coming in there. So maybe, maybe it's a little bit too much, but I do like the dark, um, like how dark it is looking up there and, and just being able to barely see them. Maybe there's something else I need to put um, inside of this glass, like maybe... Maybe like a couple of guardians, or maybe like um, decorations of some sort. Maybe put some fish in here once 1.13 comes out. I don't know. But for now, I'm pretty happy with the way that's turned out. Uh, I did some work down in this area as well. I c laid out all of the prismarine bricks for our couple of areas. So this area in here is going to be some... Uh, well, basically, it's an area where I'm going to have like, you know, the ability to... Pull out my ender chest, um, probably have an ender chest in here, and then also have some anvils and stuff to be able to, uh, you know, repair items. This is going to be our AFK chamber right here. Uh, still need to work on the door for that, the redstone. And then this right here is where our enchantment table is going to go, and then I'm going to do bookshelves and pile bookshelves all the way to the ceiling here. And then I need to finish this area off with the concrete and stuff. Uh, so I think that's going to look really nice. I think that's going to look pretty cool. So the next thing that I need to do is... Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys this. Um, I also framed out the... Uh, what do you call this? Hallway. It's called a hallway, Hex. That's the name of it. I framed out this hallway so that you can kind of get the effect here. I'm thinking about putting a piston door here at the end, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do as far as that. Um, might do like a jeb type door. Might do just one where it just pushes these two blocks in. I might not do a piston door at all and just kind of leave it open like that so that it's a long hallway. I'm, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do. So uh, there's that. Um, and <laughs> even though in the last clip I said, I'm going back for some more concrete, um, in this clip, pretty much I need to go back again for some more concrete because I'm all out of black concrete again. Uh, I have tons of prismarine, got plenty of prismarine, got plenty of sea lanterns, but kind of running short on concrete. So that's too bad. Uh, up here, I did a little bit of framing out to our upper area here, but I'm not really, yeah, I'm going to have to do like quite a bit of work to get this the way that I really want it to be. So let me show you. What I wanted to do was to do a viewing area here that went all the way around the farm so that basically you could stand in here and have glass and so then you can just kind of watch these guys without getting shot at like this guy's trying to do right now. Uh... And I wanted to make it like three wide and go all the way around. So I kind of started doing some framing here. And then the problem is, is above this is, uh, yeah, that whole mess. <laughs> so what we need to do is we would need to go up above and basically put in something in place of this gravel on the bottom of the seafloor for this to look right. So, so that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is go back to my base, <laughs> pick up some more concrete and do a little bit more work here. And see how that see how that turns out. Ah, uh, man, these guys. There's like a lot of them going down in there. Pretty excited about this. Pretty, it's working super well. Look at this thing. <laughs> you want to shoot at me? Want to shoot at me? Go in your hole. Go in the hole. Get get out of here. All right, guys. Get another progress update on the farm here. So we got. Uh, I put in some stuff here, so I finished off all of this. I put the black concrete in here. Unfortunately, I forgot to bring the stinking, uh, what do you call it, the bookshelves in there. But, yeah, so uh, in here we have all of this set up. Um, I've just got some random shulker boxes in here. Not exactly sure how I want the anvils to go um, in this room. Maybe we'll have them fall down in one of these places here or something, but I kind of like the... 
the idea of just having it be like a room and then like some things were placed in it as as though the room was there for another purpose before. Um, something like that. I don't I don't know. Um, I'm kind of thinking honestly like in Skyrim when you go down into the um, like the uh, what do you call it like the dwarves area and then they'll, they'll have like these really cool builds but then they'll just have stuff like kind of scattered around. It's kind of what I was thinking in there but anyways. Uh, then the hallway is partially done so I decided to go like this with the roof. Uh, like you can't even really see them on the ceiling there and then you've got just some simple designs here. I might, when 1.13 comes out, put some um, stair blocks in here just to kind of make it have a little bit more rounded look or something like that and then do that to the entire build. Uh, right here we've got, um, that's kind of where I started to run out of concrete and you can see that there. Um, up top here, I did a little bit of work. I've been working on trying to clear out some of this stuff to make a ring all the way around um, our guardian farm and then also to kind of set up this this laboratory. So. Um, let me show you the top here. So basically, like what's going on is we've got like a ring going around here. But there's just like a million guardians hanging around, especially in the front of this thing. So it's been really difficult to do that. But you can kind of see that I've got a ring started. I wanted to do this sort of thing all the way around uh, the farm. So that kind of just, just to kind of give it like a, I don't know, a finished look. And then what I wanted to do here was to put glass along this because my thought here was like, what, what if this was some sort of like laboratory that we're like kind of studying these guardians while we're killing them? And then sort of there's like glass like all the way around to about here um, where people can look out and check out the guardians and see what's going on. Because it's just, there's this kind of like natural formation here. And I was thinking it'd be kind of cool to kind of build like a, I don't know, like kind of like a something inside of this area that would be, um, a laboratory or something, or like an observation area, anyways. But that's kind of where we, I've got here. So uh, once again, I've run out of the black concrete, and in order to get more, I'm going to have to go get some sand. So that's going to be fun, and then we'll come back and we'll do a little bit more work on this thing and see how far we get. I'm hoping that we can at least finish off the downstairs part, the ring around, and then also kind of the ring around that's um, underneath. So... Anyways, I'm kind of getting a little bit tired of working on the Guardian Farm, but it's definitely definitely come along, and I'm pretty happy with it the way that it is. And I've been getting so much Prismarine and Prismarine Crystals. I've got stacks and stacks of uh, stuff to make sea lanterns and stuff. So anyways, that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to go grab some more sand, some more concrete, and see if we can't uh, make some serious progress here in the next hour or so. Well, guys, another big progress update gone ahead and done a little ring all the way around our guardian farm. What do you think? I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I think I missed a spot. Look at that. Do I have some concrete? Yeah, I do. Sweet. Uh, this has been a pretty difficult journey just because for some reason these guys are kind of hanging out on the edges sometimes. I think what's going on is that when these squid spawn, they kind of get pulled over to the side and so then they're not falling all the way to the center. So maybe I should have made the farm a little bit bigger to start with, but I think that we're doing pretty good. I think that um, we're getting good rates, so I'm not really too particularly worried about it, but that's something. Uh, let me go down here and fix this. And see <laughs> There's four of them just waiting for me. You can see i got a couple of fence gates that need some fixing. Oh, man. Let's see if I can get this in here. Ah! No. 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 There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. See what I have to put up with you guys? <laughs> wow. <laughs> How frustrating. Anyways, I did die one time. I died like right on the edge of the thing. So I was so happy that my most of my items didn't fall into the lava down there. Uh, that was really good. So uh, that's good. Um, let me show you what else I got down here. Um, oh, yeah. I You can obviously see that I kind of started to create this room right here. I was thinking about having these different sections, but I kind of like it open as you can see a little bit better, but I do like the idea of having sections, so we'll see. But basically this is going to um, get pulled all the way over here and then where all of this uh, these prismarine blocks are, prismarine bricks are, all the way over there. I'll probably take it all the way out to this part right there where my cursor was, but I can't float around here too long or I'm going to get shot. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, let me show you the next little part. Um, so down to the second floor. We've got quite a bit of work done here. Um, I started going around 
underneath this part. So I had to build this first and then now I'm going underneath it to create a walkway and I'm really, really happy with it. The only thing I'm not happy with is the fact that to put this concrete in, yeah, it's going to be a nightmare because they need to put concrete. Not, how come I keep doing that? I need to put this concrete right there and right <laughs> You guys see my problem, right? Uh, kind of didn't think that through. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway... Yeah, so th that's kind of what I'm what I'm dealing with right now and trying to figure out, do I really want to do all this and put up with all this stinking, uh, stinking stuff here? But I think I do. I mean, I think it's going to look really good once it gets all in and all the way around. So I'm still working on that. Um, I might finish that as a time lapse. Let me show you the very bottom here. Okay, we're headed down to the bottom floor here. And I've pretty much completed this hallway. The only thing I need to complete is this elevator area here. I'd like to put in the water elevators for 1.13 that I have uh, a little tutorial on. But for now, I just got this ladder and it's working just fine. But I would like to finish it off with some prismarine. I mean, obviously that looks uh, totally unfinished. But this is completely finished. We've got all of, well, except for one little spot right there. There's a couple spots where I needed to be able to get to my beacon still. And I'm debating about whether or not I want to do like a redstone door or if I just want to close off the beacon and say, forget it. Um, I'm kind of thinking that because I'm not really going to be changing the beacons once I get this thing built. Um, anyways, moving on. Uh, we've got this area here. You guys have seen this. And then I finished this area off as far as the bookshelves. So we've got that going on. Um, it's not quite as cool as I thought it would look, but I do like it. So um, yeah, that's that. And then in here, we still have kind of just our sort of empty room to put shulker boxes and stuff. Still haven't figured out an anvil situation, and I still need to do the redstone for this um, door right here. But that's what we've got. I'm hoping that in this episode, I will have enough time to do the redstone doors and finish this thing off with the anvil in there, and then also do the upper part, the ring all the way around, as well as the observatory. So... Ooh, I'm I'm kind of running out of time, though. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all that done. I might have to postpone, like, the observatory part of it for next episode. I really don't want to, but I might have to do that. So, anyways, that is where we are so far. Um, tell you what, I'm going to see if I can't pull off a time lapse of building the rest of this thing. So, I'm going to gather up some, mater some more materials, um, get my concrete uh, supply a little bit more balanced and stuff, and then... Um, I'm going to see if I can't do a third-person time-lapse on... Or third-person fast-forward. Hyperspace. <laughs> One of those. Uh, to be able to finish off the rest of this here and get it all done. So that's probably what you're going to see in one second.
Okay, you guys. Well, this thing is totally done. Totally done. I'm very, very pleased with it. Or this part right here is totally done. Like, I still have to do some other things. I'll show you that in just a minute. But what uh, I'm really excited about this. I really like the way that it looks. I like the way the columns are. Um, I like the way the beacons are kind of flowing through here. Um, I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want to go with glass or no glass. The no glass is much more open. You feel a little bit closer to the action here. Um, the glass is obviously safer, but I'm kind of leaning towards no glass just because I really, really like being able to kind of walk around here and, um, yeah, get shot by the Guardians. <laughs> uh, really, really kind of get up and close and, and see them, you know, meet their ultimate demise in my giant farm here. So really, really pleased with the way this thing turned out so far. Um, it's getting really good rates. Uh, the ocean is not drained. The ocean is still intact. I really like this farm. I think it's really good. Um, really, really pleased with it. So, uh, yeah, so as you kind of walk around here, you can tell that I'd put all this these pr prismarine bricks in here. Fortunately, the uh, difficulties I was having with having the, gr the gravel up above um, in these portions right here, it wasn't really that bad. So you might have seen in the time lapse some of the water coming in. But it really, whoa. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Um, it really wasn't that bad, actually. I, th I was assuming it was going to be a lot worse, but there was only a few sections where um, it was a pain to kind of put these in because of the gravel falling. But even even those sections, I mean, it wasn't really that bad. So that's really good. Um, after the time lapse, I did just a little work before I recorded this video um, between the time lapse and this, this little segment. So right here, I finished this tunnel. So it was just kind of a one wide, like derpy little tunnel. Um, now it's a three wide derpy little tunnel that's decorated. So unfortunately it has to be two blocks tall just because, um, above me here is the, is the, um, layer that the gravel's sitting on. And I kind of didn't want to disturb the surface cause I think that it's going to look really good for the rest of this. So, uh, the fact that this is a two tall corridor, um, bugs me a little bit, but not too bad. And I definitely think it looks better finished out with our black concrete and prismarine bricks and some sea lanterns rather than having the just regular stone and dirt and stuff. Uh, right here, I put a block of these, uh, or a 3x3 three three of these sea lanterns. The reason I did that was because it's really easy to get lost in here. And not be like, where the heck is the door? I, that kept happening to me. So um, by putting this here, it really marks like where the door is. And I think, I think that's effective. I think that's pretty good. Um, up here... I did a tiny bit of work. What I did is I brought this down one layer. I got rid of some of our, um, some of these like brace things uh, because I think it's going to be better to have it looking clear. And what I think I'm going to do in here, and, th and this is going to be my next and, and maybe final part of this um, episode here, what I think I'm going to do is do a different color scheme in here slightly. I might still use the prismarine bricks. In fact, I think I probably should. But I might switch it to some white concrete because what I want this to be is sort of like an observatory, like a laboratory. I wanted the rest of it to kind of maintain sort of a temple-y kind of feel or like, you know, like it's some sort of ancient building or some sort of ancient trap for these things. Um, but then this part here, I, I want it to look a little bit more modern as though um, people that kind of came to this world um, were really kind of studying and figure out what the heck was going on here in addition to kill these things and harvest their prismarine. But, um, or maybe this is like the control center for the harvesting, right? So that you can kind of watch the harvest and watch over it and stuff like that. So this is going to be a little bit more mechanical looking where the uh, portion that I built before, let me just show you again so you kind of get what I'm talking about. Um, where the portion that I built before look, looks a little bit more um, like a temple, I guess, like this whole thing looks a lot more like, this doesn't look mechanical to me. This looks more organic like it was built and it's sort of ancient or something. And then, yeah, so it's kind of what I'm going for. Kind of what I'm going for. Anyway, um, I'm going to keep doing some work. i got to get some more glass if I'm going to work on that upper part. And I might need to get some white concrete and stuff. So we will see, and hopefully in just a few seconds, you will get to see an update on that progress. All right, so it's completely done. Check it out. Uh, well, it's not completely done. I want to put in some things like um, some tables and some some desks and some things to like monitor the progress of these little goombas in here. But for the most part, it's finished. Like all the structures finished, all the decorating um, as far as the stone slabs. Uh, so let me walk you through a few things that kind of look weird right here. So first of all is this giant hole right here. It doesn't look done. That's because I don't have any 
obsidian. So that's where I'm going to put my nether portal. I'm going to move it from this section here and put it over here. So that'll have to be done in a future episode. Um, I think that that'll be a nice place to come in. So then you can just walk right in, see this whole thing. Uh, this hole in the ground, that is still our elevator currently. Um, I'm going to replace that, of course, with the water elevators once 1.13 launches. Um, I didn't decorate down the hole either just because of that, because it's like, why tear all that stuff out if I'm going to tear it out again when I put in the proper elevators? Um, the next thing is that... Um, the next thing is uh, this right here. Uh, this looks unfinished be on purpose because what I was thinking of is be really cool to have like a little waterfall like grotto thing in here. And that's what this is starting to be. I don't have any of the necessary decoration blocks like some, you know, some cobblestone, maybe some grass blocks, maybe some some ferns and some leaves and stuff like that. And then it might also nice be nice to have a koi fish in there. So when, again, when 1.13 is released, perhaps we'll finish that. And then over here, um, we have these two glass panes. What I was thinking of is what if we had a couple of tanks for some guardians? So if we had like a guardian in that one and a guardian in this one, we could like study them and figure out their properties or maybe they're sick or maybe we're just trying to figure out how to get more prismarine out of them or something. That's probably more like the theme of this. But anyways, that's kind of what I was thinking there. Um, I have no idea how to get a guardian in there. Seems like a very difficult task. Although these guys might be motivated to go there. So we'll see. Maybe I need to like wait till one comes here and break the glass and uh, break this glass and then have them like flow in here f with water streams or something. I'm not sure. Uh, but that's pretty much it. This uh, The end of this thing is right here. So you can kind of walk around and see it. Uh, let me show you what it looks like from the outside because I did some work on that as well made sure that um, I repaired the ceiling. This was actually quite a quite a difficult little guy to build because every time I broke a block, like water would fall down with the whole gravel thing. So that was pretty annoying, but it is done. Oh yeah, right here, I'm gonna put in uh, some fence gates, uh, open fence gates or signs or something so that basically this is like our little way to get back out into the, the water um, at your own risk. And then as you can see, kind of the exterior of this is looking pretty good. So I made sure that um, all of the the uh, viewing section had like a nice frame around it in the prismarine bricks. And then I made sure that the top was all filled in with gravel. So that is this. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then here's our two tanks. I just left them open for now because my thought was, what if I could just get a guardian to just come over here and fall down in there? But that doesn't seem to be uh, the way <laughs> this is going to happen. So, uh, But that's for a future episode because we are currently... Completely out of time. I know. I'm sad, too. This has been a good one. I feel like we got a lot done. I feel like our Guardian farm is looking really good, and I'm really super happy with it. Uh, couldn't be any happier, but we're out of time. Well, this has been Hex. I hope you enjoyed this little episode. Maybe try to build one of these Guardian farms in your world. That might be fun. Anyways, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, or maybe even subscribe to see more World of Hex or other stuff like builds and redstone and stuff like that. But for now, I hope you're having a wonderful day and God bless.